sitting in the marina for over two weeks now with my bad back. Spasms every day, virtually unable to move. For the last two days, I've had no spasms and I just can't sit here anymore. I've watched Game of Thrones season one and two. I've watched The World at War, all of it, it's brilliant. But that must be the 10th time I've seen it. And uh, unfortunately, there doesn't seem to be anything but comic book films to download. Not that one downloads movies from the internet, but if one did, it would have to be cartoon characters which are for children, so no good movies. So I've decided that as currently in the UK, stroke France, it's a Fastnet race. I can't make it to Fastnet, but I'll go to uh, Ibiza Lighthouse and, uh, and back. 75 miles each way. Should be, the wind shouldn't be too bad actually. It should be like a reachy, broad reach on the way back. It's I'm probably going to be reaching both ways. It's westerly now, sorry, easterly. And uh, it's going to turn, no, yeah, it's an easterly. <laughs> it's going to turn into a, uh, into a northeasterly. And then maybe a northerly. So I'll end up probably reaching both ways. And uh, 75 miles each way, probably. Oh, I'm going to sail a bit longer, a bit further than that. Uh, maybe two days. Let's see.
uh, tack around the end of the mole there. So we've got to go out this way for a little bit longer. things up but uh, I'll turn the camera off for now so we made the tack and we're well clear of the end of the mole and we're virtually on course for the lighthouse find ourselves in a uh, sail versus possibly sail situation here both on port tack but of course he's windward and I'm lured so he should give way he hardened up instead of going behind me which would have been a good thing to do he hardened up literally stopped dead in the water in front of me put his engine on got a lot of decoration on the boat but uh, sailing to windward on just your genoa Well, if I'm going the opposite way to him, I'm probably going in the right direction. The wind's backed a little bit, so I'm pointing a little bit closer to uh, where I'd like to go. But we're down to eight knots, so three and a half knots of boat speed. But uh, it's all right. I'm still feeling a bit queasy. We're having a bit of fun. I've uh, just took, taken my first uh, sight of the day. And um, instead of doing all the calculations from tables and, and filling in pro formas, I got an app. And with the app, what you do is you insert and then record. So this was what this was the sighting I just took. And look, it calculates everything for you. And then not only does it calculate everything for you, but it plots that line of position on the chart. So uh, just before the sun sets, maybe in two hours time. I'll have moved about nine miles by then. I will take another sighting, and uh, and then we'll see if they if they cross. Because what it'll do, it'll draw the next line of position, then it'll move the original line of position forwards, and they should uh, they should intercept somewhere, and it should be where I am. Uh, we'll see. Um, I'm just going to see if I can. If I can use the go, you shouldn't look at the sun. Don't look directly at the sun. If I can use the GoPro through the sextant, I wonder if that'll work. I wonder if I can even do it. Let me see where we're at with this. So, I have no idea. Hang on. Get it. 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 Can you see? And just before I put my head down, I'll set up the weather facts. Not that it's got any real detail for the area that I'm in, but it's good to have a, an overview. At least I'll know what's happening in the Atlantic, if nothing else. And uh, I'll wake up just in time to do my uh, my log at 2 o'clock, 2 a.m. 6.51 a.m. And uh, Ila Bleda Plana Lighthouse is about 10 miles away. Well, it was an interesting night. Some nice sailing and then a lot of... Reef still on. Oh, you're pointing the wrong way. That one. 
I ended up with the Genoa on the third reef the wind was up at 20, 20 knots, well gusts to 20 knots and at night when you can't really see what's going on I'm very conservative Ooh. a few little wavies here and let's see if we can spot the lighthouse it's three flashes every 15 seconds I've, there's another one that's four flashes though so don't be don't get lulled in to the four flashes which are to the north of our one which has got three flashes. So that was four flashes there. Just underneath the pimply rock in the background. So about two hours and then we turn around and go back. So it's taken me about, will have taken me about 19 hours and I guess I've sailed about 80 miles. I don't want to say that the back's been fine because that'll jinx it been a few little twinges but nothing serious. Alright, I'll put it back on when we get closer. I haven't decided if I'm actually going to go around it or just a beam it and then turn around. Can't be bothered with the extra miles <coughs> I'm going around it. We'll see. From the aspect you can see that uh, I've turned around and I'm heading back now. So uh, about another 70 miles as the crow flies, as the boat sails probably 80, I don't know. And uh, the forecast changed a little bit, it looks like it might get a little bit gusty now on the way back so hence the reason I've turned just a little bit short to try and, uh, well I've saved myself an hour and a half by not going around and I might be able to beat the, the, the forecast gusts by doing this, we'll see quite light right now so, uh, but you know the sun's just coming up we'll see, I've not had any sleep at all which is a bit of a bugger snoozers in during the daylight hours. There's a couple of sailing yachts over there and nothing else on the horizon. A few a bit hazy with a few scattered cumulus clouds around. I imagine they'll all burn off in the next hour or two and as predicted I was beaten all the way here and I'll beat all the way home. I'm thinking about shaking out the reef but uh, I'll have another look at the wind before I do that. Missed. By half a mile.
It's half past 12 and the wind has just died completely. Now there's lots of clouds around, fluffy clouds. But the wind just completely died from about 12 knots down to 5 knots in a minute. Still got uh, about 50 miles to go, 45, 50 miles to go. And it was looking pretty good that I might get in there tonight about 9 or 10 o'clock, but uh, all bets are now off. The forecast said right here, right now, there would be gusts of 20 knots. Which is why I turned round just short of the lighthouse because they were going to build all afternoon and I wanted to get through it before the strong winds arrived. The forecast right now is making me look a fool. I'm kind of tempted just because I know the way things work. I'm kind of tempted to put a reef in because that's bound to be the next thing I need to do. We'll see. There's another sailing boat over there. But he doesn't have AIS. I guess he's about six miles away. I've just gone through the area where most of the cargo traffic transits up and down and you can see there's one there there's one over there there's a few over there but no uh, no drama so little drama that I'm listening to in our time again oh the winds coming back back up to eight knots I don't know if you can see it from here. It says 7.6. Um, okay, well, I see. I think it was just the threat of me putting a reef in that made the wind come back. <laughs> oh, what a carry on! More later. I knew it. I knew it. So we're up to gusts up to 15 now. But I did exactly what I said I was going to do. I put two reefs in. But I did actually, I did notice this cloud, which helped prompt me to do it, but stick two reefs in. But that's good because we're making about five knots again now. So back on schedule. I think it's going to be a bit of rain out of this. Looks to be a bit of rain. And then afterwards, it seems to be a little brighter. We'll see. But now, I got two reefs in the main before the shit happened. Hooray! 17, steady 17 now, gusting 18. This is literally five minutes later. So uh, I've just put one reef in the Genoa as well. But boat speed still five and a half knots. So we're not under canvas. I've got the flexibility now to to just reef and reef the Genoa as required. Probably wouldn't go for the third reef in the main unless it really got strong, which I don't imagine it's going to. By that I mean over 30 knots. So, uh, good, we're pretty set now. It's just this cloud here. We pass through under most of it. Once we're out the other side, things should calm down a little bit, I hope. And I think actually this marks
because the wind has veered as well as has increased. So uh, good. I could sail a little bit higher, ideally, which will put me in uh, a better position later on. But uh, I'm just going to stay like this for now. I'm actually going to put a T-shirt on because of this wind blowing. It's like it's chilly. Is that we're out the back of it and we're easing out the wind's a little bit all over the place and uh, it dropped down to back down to it's saying seven knots now but there's still a few clouds around as you can see so I mean seven knots that's not seven knots that's no wind that's just there <laughs> uh, so it's going to be a frustrating afternoon, I think. The sails are telling me one thing, the wind gauge is telling me something else. I'm just going to sit here and bob for a while. they're going to bring me some good luck because the weather today has been shite and uh, now I've resorted to the engine but, uh, and I think we're probably going to get some thunderstorms tonight so uh, yeah. come back dolphins I need your luck
that's what it looks like in reality I mean the chances of spotting a navigation uh, light in that lot pretty bloody slim there's a flashing red there I know where that one is thank goodness that's the only one I can spot hey, hey, hey. I've uh, been motoring for four hours now every now and then the wind would get up so I'd unfurl the Genoa and motor sail get maybe five knots five and a half knots and then uh, as fast as it arrives ten minutes five minutes later it would back and then die I have to furl the Genoa otherwise I'd be motoring straight into the wind for the Genoa out so yeah I think I've filled and unfurled it and filled it again I don't know maybe 15 20 times no, I'm serious 15 or 20 times in the last four hours I got still got four miles to go so it's still four miles away um, and I probably won't be filming on my way in because it's all a bit of a panic I don't like to film those bits we'll see uh, I'm gonna have a shower and get some kip now I've not had any kip at all it's uh, 32 hours and no sleep so I, hopefully I'll sleep tonight because the time is only uh, it's what is it half past nine now so half past ten I should be on my pontoon which is just enough time for a quick shower and then get some sleep Tomorrow I need to go shopping, I've not really got much food on board now unless unless you want tuna and beans and uh, I've had enough tuna and beans so I'll have to have a shop day What an exciting life I lead 